Uh, my name is Dr. Jay Malko. I am a, a professor and a system vice chair for nurse surgery at Mount Sinai Health System and the director of our cerebrovascular uh, center. Today we're going to be speaking a little bit about stroke, uh, particularly in the context of the ongoing uh, COVID pandemic. Well, this is a, a very interesting question. Um, the current community is, is working all of this out, but I can tell you that our experience here in the epicenter of the COVID experience in New York City, uh, we've seen a dramatic increase. Not just a dramatic increase in stroke in general, but a dramatic increase in the worst types of stroke, which is large vessel occlusion. Uh, we've seen about double the normal number and this appears to be due to about half of our patients being COVID positive, um, which likely accounts for that increase. Uh, we've also seen a large um, cohort of young patients that do not have other stroke risk factors, uh, but have COVID positivity and have suffered severe strokes. Um, our estimation is that there is a substantial increase in the number of strokes happening right now during this pandemic. There does appear to be a link, a very uh, strong link. The more we learn about COVID-19 as a disease, there does appear to be a very clear and strong procoagulant aspect to it, meaning that it forms clots. Uh, this has been demonstrated in many papers, in particular studies even out of uh, Wuhan. Uh, there's one that showed about a 6% uh, approaching 6% uh, rate of stroke in end-stage COVID-positive patients. Um, so th there does appear to be clots forming, whether they're in the heart or in the brain or in other areas and locations. And in fact, it may be that the propensity to form clots is one of the hallmark features that are driving uh, the severe nature of the disease. That's a great question, and it's one of the things we're most pressed with dealing right now. We've had a number of patients in the last few uh, weeks now who have, even despite having significant neurologic symptoms of stroke, have put off calling the ambulance to come to the hospital because there's so much messaging about the dangers and the fear of COVID in hospitals right now. Um, I know New York EMS has been reporting that there's a large rate of them going to houses and then people refusing to come uh, with them to a hospital. Uh, and it's all about balance. Um, if you have a, a, a sprained toe and you're otherwise able to get around and do things, it's probably safer for you not to come to an emergency room. But if you're suffering from a severe uh, event or illness, something like a heart attack or stroke, um, those carry much higher risks than the potential risk of being exposed to COVID uh, in a hospital. And so we're really trying to get the message out there to patients that if you are having the symptoms of stroke, weakness in your arm or leg, slurred speech, um, changed mental status, inability to understand people speaking, if any of those things are going on, then uh, that is an emergency, and that carries potentially much more dire circumstances than the risk of just coming to the hospital. Uh, and so we encourage people to please, if you're having severe stroke symptoms, please come to the hospital. Please call 911. I, I think that if there's one takeaway message, it is that while COVID is scary, and, and I know that it is, um, the other diseases that we still need to, to treat people for uh, are still ongoing. And if you're a patient out there who has these symptoms, it is important that you get seen and taken care of. I read an article the other day that said that EMS is, is picking up four times as many patients um, who have passed away at home than they normally do, uh, essentially being called all cardiac arrests. These are probably representative of a myriad of diseases uh, for which people who would normally have come to the hospital are too afraid and are staying home. Um, and I get that fear. Uh, this whole time is very scary. Um, but we do have to remember that there are diseases that we can treat and we can affect really amazing outcomes on. And so please, if you're suffering from a stroke uh, or symptoms of a stroke, uh, please don't hesitate to come and get treated. Um, 
we've had many success stories even in the last few weeks. Um, with that, I'll thank everyone for paying attention. Really appreciate you taking the time uh, to listen to us. Um, and please stay safe during these very scary times. Thank you very much.